What's up YouTube? Ryan here. I'm going to do a video on what tools I have to run my dump truck business. So let's jump into uh, some of the tools that I got, how I acquired them, and I'm just going to give you guys basically the lowdown on the tools, great tools to have, what I think is necessary, and what may not be 100% necessary. This is my toolbox right here. This is the general 72 inch Harbor Freight toolbox. So let's come over here. In this drawer, we got vice grips. I love these things for connecting like two pieces of metal and welding them. Those work great. I got a whole bunch of other vice grips. These ones are great for, uh, you know, if you have a filter that you can't find the correct filter wrench for, dude, this thing will get it done. And uh, if this doesn't get it done, then I got another uh, chain pipe wrench right here. I've had to use that thing once or twice. Love that thing. Also, real quick, here's my Lincoln Pro MIG 260. Love this welder, if you haven't seen this before. Okay, so in this drawer, I got some epoxy, I got more vice grips, I got a whole bunch of these wire brushes, all different sizes. I got a, something to check the air pressure. I got pens and pencils in this drawer. I also got a laser thermometer, which is handy to have. I also got some band-aids in here, which I never use. But it's important to have some sort of first aid kit near your toolbox, I think. I don't know how many times I've hurt myself. I'm going to do a review on this flashlight. I got this from O'Reilly's. I've had it for not uh, probably six months. Let me just give you a tip. They're garbage. Don't buy them. Drawer down, we got these uh channel locks this is the biggest set i got and then i got a whole bunch of other ones a whole bunch of channel locks different types of pliers these are fencing pliers you know just different sorts of pliers you can see these are just lots of cool stuff in here different different types I got needle nose in here regular pliers also got a brake tool in here next drawer down I got scissors tin snips and strippers I love having, you got to have a good pair of strippers like this. This is an amazing set of strippers. Uh, they work amazing. This one is more of a house one. It's set up specifically for doing house stuff. So, but, And I got a whole bunch of other stuff in here. Scissors, shears, uh, you know, end snips. A lot of this stuff was given to me for free. My grandpa picked it up at yard sales. I just kind of accumulated it over time. You want to have a set of snips. You're going to have to have a, you know, for cutting airline or, you know, it's, it's important. I would suggest having at least one of every tool that I got here. In this drawer, we got some pipe wrenches. Here's one that I broke and I re-welded it and it's still holding up. So you can see that. Next, I got some taps and dies. Also got some removers. Garbage. There's another one of those. Old saw. 
I don't know why that's in there. That's a good place for it. It's not, not taking up any space. And then next drawer down, we got all sorts of drill bits. You know, I really like these drill bits. They have the step head on them. Right? Love those kind. They work great. Uh, the one thing that I don't like about those is if your, uh, your hole's already drilled and then you're trying to go from the next one up, it's hard to uh, drill a hole that's already been drilled and you're just trying to enlarge it. This is a better style for that if you're gonna if you're drilling a hole larger right because it's tapered you got to have a set of drill bits guaranteed you're gonna need it eventually next up is some earmuffs love these things you got to have a pair of earmuffs and an angle grinder this thing is probably one of my most used tools of all times. I've gone through probably three or four angle grinders. Only I've only went through one DeWalt though. I had some other brands that they were junk and then I went back to DeWalt because it literally has the perfect size for my hand and I love the trigger style. It doesn't have a button where you have to push in and then pull the trigger, which I like that. It just has this safety right here. Also got uh, safety glasses. And I got a die grinder in here too. We got a mask in here, but I just never used the thing. Here's, a, here's another die grinder. Bzz, bzz. These things work good. One thing that I constantly go through, constantly, uh, cutting discs, cutting discs, grinding discs, wire discs. I go through these like butter, man. You can see it's pretty much toast. It's done. But there's still a little life left in that. You know, uh, I love these paddle sanders these things work great love these i also got the shield for the grinder just in case i'm in a vulnerable position where it's throwing sparks in my face and it's got a handle love the dewalt again okay i have had a little bit of time to organize this Basically, I got over here, I got ratchets, 3 8 half inch, quarter inch, got a whole bunch of them. I got three quarter inch ratchets. I got, let's see, one, two, three, four, four 3 8 ratchets just in this toolbox alone. And then I got uh, one half inch in here. The other one's in the tool cart. Other than I got two, uh, two of these right here. I got an older style one right back here. Torque wrenches. Tells you how much pounds you're putting on something. All right, so you can see how that works. The more torque you put on it, the needle moves. How accurate that is, I have no clue, but it uh, it works all right. I hardly ever use a torque wrench, so I'll be honest. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Torque wrench, uh, once you've worked on something enough times, you don't really ever, like I hardly ever use an actual torque wrench. It's normally, I can just feel, right? You got an old speed wrench right here. Some of you guys know what this is. You just put the socket on and that's how that works. We got a tape measure in here. We got another tape measure. 
in here. Also, three tape measures because you always lose one when you need it. This is kind of an interesting tool my grandpa gave me. Um, the way this works is, I don't know if you can see that. The way this works is you can turn this. It's handy for those jobs where you can only get like a half a turn, you know? You just spin this bad boy. But the problem with this design is it's so bulky. Like this is just so massive. You know, it, it has come in handy. And I got the 3 8 inch one too. I don't know who makes this. There's no name on it at all. So, but like old tools, it's knurled. Like this is the best way to make a wrench, in my opinion. If it's not knurled, it's junk. Because <laughs> you can get a lot better grip on something that's knurled. I wish guys would tool manufacturers would still knurl their stuff and then we got some sockets here these are just kind of miscellaneous sockets and we got let's see a whole bunch of these little crescent wrenches let's see one two three four five six seven eight check this baby out a little baby crescent wrench got a whole bunch of extensions too right here Here's an interesting wrench that I got. This is kind of cool. It's kind of an all size. It tells you what size it's good for. 9 through 14, 15 through 12, 3 eighths, 3 sixteenths. So, and this is a cool design because it's also like a ratcheting style, right? You can use it as kind of a ratcheting style. <clears throat> then I got a, so I got standard right here and metric right here and then we got all our allen wrenches over here this box right here stevens walden this box was given to me by my grandpa and it was his father's the allen wrenches inside are all you know miscellaneous stuff but the but this toolbox right here you know this is kind of like a family heirloom you know, back in the day when they actually gave you metal boxes for your tools, which last literally forever. They don't do that nowadays. They're too cheap. I mean, the paints wore off of it. Check that out. Like, I mean, it's been used so, it's so old, the paints wore off of it. And it's still, the way they welded it, they did a quality job spot welding it because it's still solid. I mean... Awesome. I wish they made products like this still. <sighs> so this was my grandfather's father's little toolbox. I don't know if he had Allen wrenches in it or not, but it was his. And then I, over in this far corner, I normally keep gloves or rags. Then, next drawer down, we got hammers. And I also got a crowbar right here. Big crowbar. You need a crowbar or some sort of breaker bar or leverage bar. You got to have a leverage bar running a dump truck business. No ifs, ands, or buts. Got to have one. You got to have a sledgehammer. You got to have normal hammers, smaller hammers for tapping in stuff and, uh, you know. I carry a hammer, a sledgehammer, right next to the seat, right? So that, a hammer is a must. You gotta have a hammer. This hammer right here, this was, uh, I broke this, but this was given to me by my dad. One of the only things he ever gave me, hammer. <laughs> I ended up breaking the handle. It was a slick hammer. And then over here, I got some body uh, work tools for doing body work. Not really necessary. I hardly ever use them, but it's nice to have them, you know, just for tapping on stuff. You know. Next one down. 
Oh, I uh, skipped one. Okay. Here we got screwdrivers on this side. All these are Phillips. Right, I got these small ones like this. I got, you know, big ones. You know, just every size. And then over here we got stars and drivers and, uh, you know, quarter inch drivers. These are kind of the stars and drivers area right here. Um, you know, it, it's nice to have a driver, but if you have like an impact driver, like my DeWalt that I got, you're never going to use these. Like I hardly ever use these, <laughs> hardly ever. And then over here we got the flat heads and are kind of separated with another crowbar, just a small one. We got big handled, uh, you know, flat heads. This one's broke. And we got small ones. This is a speed, speed screwdriver. It's kind of cool. You just hold it and you, you know. I'm right handed, so it's easier for me to show you with right hand. But never even used it once. And then we got a tire tool right down here. My grandpa let me have or borrow, whatever you want to call it. A lot of these screwdrivers have broken tips on them because we use them for prying and hammering stuff. Um, I would say by far these old ones that I got that have the wood handle and the steel shank all the way through are by far the best quality ones that I have. You can't even read who made this anymore, but it's uh, made in the USA. Check that out. It's got a steel shank all the way through. And this is great for hammering on stuff. I love it. Next down, we got the C-clamps. Uh, here's one that I fixed. I built this one myself. You can see this is a castle nut right here. Castle nut. And I weld, what I did was I put the castle nut on and then I welded a washer on there. So if you ever break one, that's the perfect way to fix one of these. And the reason this is such a better design is because it actually grips the surface on what it's going on versus these ones right here that are flat that just slide off all the time so that's something cool got most of these for free and from my grandpa and i just collected them this right here is for taking tires off and putting tires on Mainly putting them on. You sit, you put this on the rim and you put the tire on. Also got a pulley puller or something. Next up, we got some of the big boy tools. Uh, big, massive pipe wrench for getting stuff that is obscenely large and you need a lot of torque to get it off because it's really long. This is a 36 inch. Um, got some big sockets in there. We also got the tiger tool Justin gave us. And uh, we got in here, we also got these. These are airline tools. They help take off uh, the quick airline. I got a whole bunch of these breaker bars to give away, so if uh, one day you ever see me, you know, near my house, or if you ever decide you want to come over, you can have a free one of these. I got three of them, or two of them, yeah, no, three of them, and I also got like five of these big uh, 3 8 ratchets. 
or three quarter inch. Yeah, three quarter inch ratchets. I also got this broken one. <laughs> this is a three quarter inch ratchet. It was broken. If you look, it was a stud was welded on to this. And yes, it works. And then you can flip this and go the other way. I don't know. I can't remember if I welded this or if that's the way my grandpa got it or something. I can't remember. But I have used this. It's nice to have the extension without putting an extension on there. Next drawer down, we got the big angle grinder. That thing is massive. Uh, we got some hacksaws, whole bunch of the angle grinder stuff in here. Also some old tools like this. It's, this is a drill, a hand drill. This is my uh, air ratchet. Like I said, I never use it, so I robbed the, uh, the air fitting off there because I never use the thing. This is a all trade, and it's kind of fast when you have good air pressure, but uh, you know it just has no power. So you know that's what that is. Another die grinder in here. A uh, this is a screwdriver, air screwdriver. I got a electric drill in here. Here's some other stuff. Here's another hand drill right here. The wood handle. You don't see these every day. Power ever goes out. Here's a cool tool. I love this thing when I'm doing my welding. This is an air hammer, a peening hammer. This thing rocks. They sell different attachments for them. I got a whole bunch of attachments in here for it. Here's some attachments. These work nice for cutting stuff and, you know, Breaking things loose too sometimes. You just hammer on it, you know. Some air chucks. I got a big buffing wheel in here for the big angle grinder. Some more hole saws. This is a tire patch kit. Gotta have one of these in your dump truck. It's a must. I don't know why that's in here. That's gonna go in the new dump truck. Okay, next side. We got files in this drawer. We got, you know, wood files. We got metal files. We got round files. We got triangle files. You know. We got everything. Gotta have a file. Then in here, I got a whole bunch of kind of just ins and odds. Got a, two light testers. We got a hone in here. We got clutch alignment tools. You know, we got pipe cutters. We got pipe benders. We got just a test, a wire with alligator clamps on it. We got a plane in here. We got a compass. We got this thing. I mean, we got tons of stuff. We got a calip digital caliper in here. JB Weld. We got this tool. You gotta have one of these if you own a, a dump truck business. This is for like keepers and stuff. This thing is really nice to have. Love this thing. And it's reversible. So when you squeeze, you can tighten too. So you can flip it around and it does the exact opposite. 
Next drawer down, we got scrapers and chisels in here. You know, you, hard, you only need like one scraper. These are some trowels and stuff. I got nowhere else to put them. Things like this. This is like, I think for carpet. <laughs> Stretching carpet or something. It's an old one. Yeah, punches. And then in here, I got an orbital sander and a belt sander and a whole bunch of sandpaper. And then down here, below the toolbox, I got two big tire irons Justin sent over to me. These are a must. They are so nice to use. Then I got some other, just some toolboxes for the tool, the power tools that I got that are empty. Um, on top of the toolbox, as you can see, I got a CB radio that I've been working on. I just fixed this microphone. One of the wires was came un undone, so I fixed that. I got a stereo, obviously, with some subs up there. Fire extinguisher, some grease the old bearing that came out of the differential. And then I got some trays. I like having trays uh, to put stuff in, magnetic and regular trays. Also got a machete sitting over here in case one of my neighbors comes over. Talking smack. This is the tool cart for the dump trucker right here the owner operator over here we got two magnetic trays check out this piece of chunk of metal that came out of my differential over here we got metric sockets I just bought this thing so I haven't really got it filled up but it's really nice I like this and this it's plastic I don't know if they sell metal ones but it's really handy because you just you can just see 916 grab your socket and go and then I got the grab and go toolbox. Like I said, you gotta have a sledgehammer. We got a breaker bar down here. That's what that is, a breaker pipe. Stick that over a wrench or something. We got an air gun, we got a mallet, and another hammer. Leverage bar down there with the wedge style on it. Then over here, we got another screwdriver that I can use to tap on stuff. This is a cool screwdriver. I made this myself. You can see that. I cut the tip out of this screwdriver for installing screws, or not screws, springs on uh, drum brakes. What you do is you hook the top spring on and then you push down the spring and then hook it works amazing amazing and I got a grabber I love this thing this ratchet this thing this ratchet rocks then we got a flex head ratchet which I just used today this is a power torx you push this button and then it then you can adjust right so you can go speed ratcheting or you can go full torque ratcheting right and then also i got a it's a really small compact ratchet very very compact compared to like a normal size ratchet head see the difference love this one this is a power torx too. All these ratchets are power torx. That's the O'Reilly's, what they sell. And then I got a <clears throat> breaker bar. <clears throat> oh, and then here I got this. This is a half inch. SK. This is probably my favorite ratchet that I own. And as you can see, I bent it. <laughs> but it didn't break. So, you know. 
that's how you know you're really applying some leverage on there you know when you bend it like that so patent pending 42470 this is my favorite this thing rocks okay, and then over on this side we got these are all flatheads right here and then we got Phillips over here right then the next drawer down we got our power tools these are all the DeWalt 20 volt max XRs this is the impact driver love this thing five star review on this so far uh, five star on this right here this is a DeWalt half inch impact wrench electric. This thing rocks. Uh, it doesn't quite hit as hard as my one inch air gun though. You know, which is kind of expected since it's only half inch. And then right here we got the 20 volt max DeWalt hammer drill. This thing freaking kicks butt too love the light lighting system on this it's got three different settings 20 minute half and then for a few seconds also came with this in this drawer we got extensions we got impact sockets all half inch and then right here we got some swivel heads and some different adapters from half inch to uh, three quarter inch 